In a recent video, I applied 240 volts across a light Baby Bell cheese. I didn't actually realise that I had picked up a bag of the light ones. And it was interesting, it peaked at about 430 watts with a couple of copper electrodes stuck into either side. I'm going to try that again by request with a full fat Baby Bell cheese just to see how the current varies. So let's get straight into the experiment. So I'm going to stick that over there, out the way. I'm going to close the Cliff Quick Cheese down to energise the circuitry and I've got a power meter here that will monitor the maximum power. It's currently just measuring the power from the hoppy and the hoppy will analyse the rest of the power. Are we ready to see what happens with the full fat cheese? Begin the experiment. At uh, higher power, we have... Oh, that is stinking. 510 watts so far. Now, some of you are asking about the power factor being so low. It's because it's making a bad electrical connection. So, because it's kind of blown itself clear, it has to be above a certain voltage before it starts conducting. And as such, uh, it's not, the current isn't in sync with the voltage in the waveform. It only conducts current at the top of the waveform. It's producing, it smells better than the diet one. I like the way that the haze is coming out the live side. It's actually blown a little skid mark onto the tray. And the smoke is following the copper wire. That's kind of interesting. I wonder why that is. Is it just a sort of turbulence effect? So this is still sitting at about... The power factor has gone up 0.9. That's good. I think the cheese has melted. And there's a good chance that this is actually going to do a better job. It's sitting at 12 watts. It's not arcing and sparking. The, the fact the power factor is so good suggests that it is now making a good solid electrical connection. So I'm going to leave this running for a while and we'll see how it goes. Is it going to make the cheese soft and gooey? I shall poke it with a... a no, no, it's, it's not going soft and gooey. I think really it's just basically producing voluminous quantities of cheese smoke. How long should I leave this going? I shall leave it going for a while, so if you guys want to actually see, if you want to skip over all the sort of smoke emission aspect, um, you can just skip through the video. At the moment it's going a bit dark and caramely around that side. It's still giving off lots of smoke from that side. Now am I right in saying that it was the neutral side, which is this side, that was doing all the smoking last time? I think it just depends on which electrode blows clear first. That may be largely down to where I insert the electrodes in, or the way I insert them into it. So it's still holding Unity Power Factor. It's actually marginally higher. It's up to... Oh, it's up to 20 watts. It's hovering up and down. Oh no, it's down to 13 watts. No, 15 watts. It's, it's very random. You could use it as a random number generator. Um, it's interesting that it's maintaining contact, though. At that power, I would kind of hope that the cheese would be getting a bit softer and... Oh, mm, uh, mm, right, okay. It certainly it's, it's... I think it's just burning itself clear, to be honest. Ah, oh, Okay. I shall call it quits at that. Power has now dropped down to... Well, the, the electrode has just melted straight out the side of the cheese. right oh, I think it's just going to make loud parping noises and just blow out distinctly yellowish-looking cheese smoke. So there we go. Let's halt the experiment at that and note that the full fat cheese... Oh, it's actually dribbling out the side now. That's quite nice. It's unplugged. So if I just open this for extra isolation, the Cliff Quick Cheese, it has kind of melted it in an interesting manner. I have to do the taste test now, don't I? I'm not seeing too much copper here. I'll just taste it and tell you what it tastes like. Mmm. Mmm. Burnt. <laughs> burnt cheese. But then it goes after you. Oh, that's bitter. Oh, bitter burnt cheese. But then once you get to the rest of it, it's more or less fine. There's where the other electrode went in. In this instance, there's a bit of verdigreeish effect of that. Well, verdigree, it's the, it's the copper ions going into the cheese in the vicinity. But the live one is the one that's actually copped at this time. It's the one that's really burnt. So there we go. That's the end result. I'll just open this cheese and show a little. The other one made a decent connection. It's not really burnt at all. That's interesting. So there we go. I'm going to eat the other burnt bit. Mm. That's what happens when you stick 
a full fat BBBL cheese across best part of quarter of a thousand volts, 248 volts, and reach a peak dissipation of 510 watts. <laughs> 